police have launched investigations into the death of a policeman attached to the office of the deputy president who was found dead at his house in Imaradaima estate on Thursday. Detectives from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations have since yesterday summoned and recorded statements from witnesses, neighbors, friends with the aim of getting to the bottom of the death that some now link to murder. NTV's Silas Apollo reports. For a second day, detectives from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations come through Maradaima Estate to piece together evidence in the death of a police officer attached to the office of the Deputy President. The body of Sergeant John Kipiego Kene was found lying in a pool of blood on Thursday with a bullet wound on the head. Neighbors and witnesses say the body was discovered after the officer went missing for two days with attempts to reach him proving futile. The house Galu cleans that place uh, informed us that, uh, that uh, the door has remained ajar for almost two days and nobody has been entering or going out and he's not picking his calls and normally leaves his clothes out to be washed but the clothes were this time not uh, taken out for cleaning. A statement released by the police on Thursday indicated that investigators were suspecting suicide after a note was found close to the body with telephone contacts of the cousin and brother of the deceased. But now investigators say the investigations could be widened given the fact that no commotion or even gunshots were heard from the house. So when they tried to open the door, it was slightly open, they were able to just immediately come find the body mwili ulikuwa tu umelala pale karibu na na mlango na huo mwili ukapatikana kwamba ulikuwa na bunduki ya huyu ilikuwa tu kare pale karibu na risasi ilionekana na damu imetoka karibu na shingo na imetoka kwa kichwa and there was a bullet which had hit the ceiling Kenei was scheduled to record a statement with the DCI over the 40 billion shillings arms deal involving former sports CS Rashid Echesa but failed to turn up Attempts by his colleagues and the DCA to reach him on the material day bore no fruit, prompting some of his colleagues to visit his house. A who was already appeared in court is accused of acting alongside others to swindle an American firm of 11.5 million shillings as kickback for an arms deal with the military. His former boss, Deputy President William Ruto, whose Arambe Annex office is said to have hosted the meeting, has denied the claims saying the meeting was a breach of security into the building. And on his Twitter page yesterday, Ruto says he was saddened by the death of Sergeant Kinney and called for speedy investigations into the murder. Silas Apollo, NTV.